All right, today I've got another exercise to help those of you who are struggling with your external rotation of your shoulder. Now this might be, maybe you've always had a loss of range going backwards or you're recovering from an injury or surgery. Regardless, we use a lot of external rotation exercises to help people and a lot of them are involving pulling backwards, pulling forwards, using dumbbells. This one is for people to get absolute pure external rotation mobility, so some range without worrying too much about stability of the cuff. There's also an example if you've got impingement. So what you're gonna need, or if you're in the gym, what you're gonna need is a bench setup with something like a Smith machine squat rack or something that you can put as low as you need, and I'll show you why you need that. If you're at home, you can easily do this on the sofa. But the gym way, what I suggest you do is you just get a really simple TheraBand like this. So it doesn't have to be a tube one, it can be a wide flat one. Something's actually not too hard. So this is a medium one. What you're gonna do is put that around the base of the bench that you're on. So this bench here, you put it around underneath that leg there, okay? That gives it some security, because you're gonna double this band, and that's gonna be the load to help you get into external rotation to get that mobility and stretch, right? So that's gonna go on this side of the bar. So I'm gonna line this. this, the reason why I've got this bar is to keep my elbow at the same height, or almost a little bit higher than my shoulder, but also to rest my arm up, because then I don't have to hold my arm up. If I don't have this here, when my elbow is off the bench, I have to use all my muscles to try and keep my arm in one position, or it gets dragged downwards, and I don't get that pure rotation, plus it's gonna make my arm work too hard. So I want this a passive stretch. Remember, this exercise is for a complete passive mobility, um, and I'll show you how this works. So, if I go onto this bench, I'm gonna sort of sit right, sort of parallel with the bar, okay? What I need is I need, when I look in the mirror, I can see myself here, I want that anchor point band to be at the point where when I'm in this position, the band is pretty much vertical. So I just need to shuffle to the position where that band is completely vertical. Now, at the moment, there's not too much tension there because that's good, but we're gonna get yourself in a position. Can you see how this bar is now, I can rest my entire arm on that bar. If that bar wasn't there, I'd have to use quite a lot of muscle here to try and hold up from getting dragged downwards, okay? And it just starts getting a little bit sore there. Plus, people who are a little bit weak in there may find this too hard. So having that bar they can rest on is pretty easy, and it's not gonna bite in too much, it's gonna be pretty fine. You just gotta make sure your elbow is clear of it because your forearm is gonna go down probably equal or past the bar. The other thing, don't make the mistake of having this bar too low because if this bar is too low, my elbow is too low and I might get some jamming in that shoulder joint. So just keep that position of the bar height just so you are sort of directly level out. If you look at where your elbow is, it's directly level out from the shoulder or even you can, have, you can afford to be a little bit above as well, especially those people who've got really a big bit of tightness you can be a little bit higher. So what you do is you set yourself up with this in your palm, and your movement is gonna be this way. Now you'll see with me, when I get back here, the band's really loose. There's no load there for me, so it's not stretching me. I can rest in that position, that's fine. There's nothing dragging me down. Now in previous videos, I have a dumbbell here, and that's pulling me back, but I need a bigger weight if I'm gonna get some you know, proper mobility going on there. So what you need to do, bring it up into this position, and then wrap it one or maybe two times to tighten it up and then put it back here again. And now what you can do is that obviously load is a lot better, then you can control it. As you get down and more vulnerable, the band's actually getting a little bit less, so I can control that here. Once I feel like I've got enough, I'll pull it forward in that position. Now that's almost my rest period. So that position there, if I can keep it there, it's not too much load on my shoulder. I can use my pack to sort of hold it there a little bit, and then this is the training period. This is me trying to slowly let go into the external rotation. So I'm actually doing some internal rotator strength here, right at the back where I'm getting a bit more vulnerable. And then you can see my hand is just a little bit past 90 degrees there. And then I'll pull it forward again. Now you might find when you start off with this sort of stuff, when you go backwards, you get to the point where, oh, that's the tight, well, that's as far as you go. You never try and push external rotation too far what you can handle or have too much load where you get too much fatigue. So you might go, okay, I'll just take one off that. And so I've got sort of one of those. So when I go back, 
the load's not as much, I don't have fatigue as much, and I can sort of tolerate a little bit of stretching. Now, how long you hold it there for? What I suggest you do is only keep it there for maybe three or four seconds when you start off with this, because sometimes joints don't like static holds too much, especially if you're a bit tender there. So you just go back to the point where you're feeling a stretch, and then you come back. So it's more like an active mobility exercise, where you're sort of doing strengthening at the same time. We put it in the mobility category, but for this, you are getting some internal, internal rotation strength, which is probably part of the issue of why you've lost maybe some of that external rotation. Obviously, you have to work on external rotation strength, but this will really help you with mobility because it's completely passive. You just let it go, let it go. You are holding on a little bit to try and protect yourself, but most of it is passive, and it's a nice way of getting all that range back. Now, if you're one of those people that suffers from a little bit of impingement, what you can do is grab a power band to help you with the actual positioning or, or try and improve the positioning of the humerus in the socket. Now, if you're in that position and you've got a tight capsule, maybe your rotator cuff is not absolutely perfect, and you're getting some impingement type syndromes where you're getting tightness built up in the joint and it's catching you, what you can do is help do a, what we call a caudal glide of the humerus in the socket you need a power band for that. Now I've just used a medium power band, nothing too heavy, nothing too crazy. Same position with all this. Now this is a bit of a setup, but if you can get this right, it's worth it. What you do with this, I'll just grab this for a second, you put your hand through that one and then grab that. Okay, so that's on my shoulder, clear of that band. This one is gonna go on my foot. Now before you put it, your foot on it, make sure, if you look at that, that's on my shoulder blade. I don't want that because that's not doing anything for my glenohumeral joint. I want it on my actual humerus, just off the edge, so it's basically past the joint line. What that's gonna do is give a traction of the bone this way, okay? So if I put my foot in there, and like I said, it's a bit of a setup. This one, you're gonna to have to get in position again, okay, and push that leg straight, okay? Now I've got a load there, which I can rest which is giving me a caudal drag. This is really nice. You probably find you get on here and go, oh, that's heaps nicer with that. And then I can get that in position, wrap it up a little bit, get myself set up, and then go, okay, I'm gonna go slowly backwards with that. And you'll probably find that sometimes that tightness, that catch there, see I don't have one anymore, had a little bit of a niggle there, it's gone. So I know that when I go back into external rotation now, remember this is my surgical shoulder, that there was some sort of impingement catch there where I had external rotation. Now I don't have it because I've dragged that away. I've cleared that range in the joint and I don't get that catch there and I can sort of sit there for a lot longer. And you'll probably find that that's so helpful with getting that passive range there. And of course, still just keep the repetition base. Don't stay there for too long because you don't want too much drag on here for more than sort of a minute. And that's why you just do repetitions perhaps over a minute. Be careful that that band doesn't pull you down. Keep it up in that 90 degrees and work on that. And that's a really nice way of adding on some sort of caudal glide load to that shoulder, plus a little strengthening there to help you with those impingement symptoms. So that's my little new one to help you with your external rotation going that way. And that's going to clear the way for you to sort of go over here a little better with less problems. Hope that helps. See you next time.